The European Union, the United Nations, and the Australian government launched on Wednesday two projects to help former combatants in six Moro Islamic Liberation Front camps or MILF camps re-engage into civilian life. The projects will support Camp Bilal in Lanao provinces, Camp Bushra in Lanao del Sur, Camp Abu Bakar in Maguindanao, Camp Raja Muda in North Cotabato, Maguindanao, and Camps Badre and Omar in Maguindanao. According to the EU, a total of 301.51 million pesos from the bloc, the UN and Australia will be allocated for the programs. The alias DC or the access to legal identity and social services for decommissioned combatants will provide 31,000 former MILF combatants, their families, the Bangsamoro Islamic Women's Brigade, and members of communities surrounding the camps with birth registration. The non-government organization Ideals will implement the project until 2023 with 62.41 million pesos funding from the EU and 18.1 million pesos from Australia. The Proactive R program on assistance for camp transformation through inclusion, violence prevention and economic empowerment, meanwhile will work help create uh, viable livelihoods in previously armed camps by supporting the formation of social enterprises offering individual agricultural and non-agricultural livelihood training and improving access to basic services and social infrastructure. EU Ambassador Luc Veron said the EU is here to support the work of the Bangsamoro Transitional, Transitional Government and the OPAPRU Office of uh, Presidential Advisor of Peace, Reconciliation and Unity Office of Presidential Advisor of Peace, Reconciliation to consolidate peace, the peace process. Now, Australian Ambassador to the Philippines Stephen J. Robinson said Australia has been a longtime supporter of the peace process in Mindanao. In his message, UN Resident Coordinator to the Philippines Gustavo Gonzalez, meanwhile, said peace and development must walk hand in hand.